Hi everyone and welcome to my introductory video. I just thought it might be fun to do a video um, to introduce you to my background and where I've come to do my Nuffield Scholarship from. So my name's Theresa Meadows and I'm here in a sunny field in Essex which is in the east of England. Um, very much arable farming country, um, quite flat relatively um, but lovely features like this windmill um, that we're lucky to have in our village. So um, just to kind of give you a bit of background, um, I have a real passion for farming, um, for extension and farm advice uh, for the environment and profitability and sustainability um, and how that all comes together, how we can get farmers to achieve um, both to be profitable and to be sustainable at the same time. Um, to give a bit of background, I grew up on a family farm down in Dorset and we were farming both sheep and beef, um, mainly tenanted or tenanted um, across a wide area. I then um, went on and did geography at university and was followed um, by travel internationally um, over a few different times um, with lots of international um, experience um, gained from those travels both working on farms and with smallholders around the globe. When I came back from my travels um, and started my career I worked with Natural England um, in farm advice um, both in the uplands and the lowlands um, working with farmers as to how they can get best get um, out of their stewardship schemes um, putting land into low input grassland or headland management, hedgerow management um, encouraging wildflowers um, and managing um, the uplands in different ways. When I came back I worked for Natural England and uh, working with farmers to go into environmental stewardship schemes in farm advice, how they could best make the most of those schemes and to improve the farm and the wild and wildlife there, biodiversity, using all sorts of different options like hedgerow management, um, low input grassland and different areas. I then um, took the position with Essex and Suffolk Water as a catchment advisor uh, and managing um, a thousand square kilometre catchment and uh, working with farmers to improve their water quality. Uh, that was all around um, reducing the number of pesticides and nitrates and um, phosphor phosphorus in the, in the rivers. Uh, it was successful um, with lots of installation of new infrastructure and reductions in the number of, of pesticides um, in the catchment. Now I am pleased to work for AHDB, which is the Agriculture and Horticulture Development Board um, in the Cyril's North Seed sector, covering East Anglia as their Knowledge Exchange Manager. AHDB is levy funded and that levy goes um, is paid by farmers and processors and across the supply chain and goes to fund research, um, market intelligence information, um, creating new export opportunities, education um, with children and a various number of things and the knowledge exchange side uh, which I'm involved in and that's all about how we get that research that's been done back onto the ground for the benefit of, of farmers and our levy payers. And for me that involves running uh, monitor farm groups which are commercial farms, um, very much farmer led and farmer driven and locally um, relevant kind of topics that we look at um, with the group around that farm. Alongside that we've got our strategic farms um, which are about putting research into practice and I work with Brian Barker um, who's our strategic farmer for the East and our business groups um, which are focused on benchmarking and improving their businesses through costs. So uh, a great um, role um, in the main arable area of, of East Anglia um, and lots of opportunities to do those kind of things but different things as well like how we can irrigate wheat um, effectively or how we can look at um, improving our yield potential. Outside of work, I am the coordinator for a grassroots organisation in Ecuador, um, Volunteer Las Torlas, which is up in the cloud forest and manage their volunteers. I am a volunteer um, for FCN, the Farming Community Network, and do a few other things like church bell ringing and um, treasurer for our local ploughing match and just enjoy um, running, walking and loving the great outdoors. So lovely to meet you and hope to speak to you soon.